We're at Kelly and Ryan. Okay. David just killed it. Yeah. Jason and Jeff missed it. I, I literally didn't think we were invited. Of course you were. You were added to the security. You came to New York. You flew all the way here. <laughs> It was dumb. You f up. I, almost, I came here to work out. I almost wore the jacket. See my family. Yo, hey, imagine you if didn't, you didn't see your family. Yeah, but <laughs> working out's more important. It's number one. What do you oh. think of this? Um, I like it. But how would you rather see me out there, like this? No, uh, the other way. Yeah, my goodness. Yeah. You should have seen them. It's you a little too buttoned down for you. Yeah, it's like that's not me. People should've, are gonna be like, "What happened?" You should have seen who. These these girls, oh my god, they were like literally I taping almost, this to my body. That was the only option. Like ah. if we had other options and then we probably would have found something. You it's just, just not you. Like, and that's so nice. Like I wish I could just interview people and then run out and leave and then just go do my own One thing. Day. Go do ten other shows. That's the gig, man. It's New York day. City, talk show, walk in. Yeah. Oh, what'd you do last night? Oh, it was down and actually saw a Broadway show. No kidding. Oh that's <laughs> yeah. the gig. Your and assistant that's, brings you your coffee. Yeah. Is this Sweet. <laughs> Smash on the floor. Jeff's been taking everything into a downward spiral all morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need a Should we go hang out with that? Oh. You gotta pretty much go. We gotta go. Yeah. Where do you want to go back to the then. museum? Take the helicopter? Yeah, helicopter, yeah. Yeah? Up uh, to you guys. I'll take the car. Are you kidding? Yeah, she was a full segment. Your mom. My mom was a full segment and they showed a picture of her? Yeah, it was her in the wedding dress. Because she's been beautiful. she's been calling me nonstop about your appearance and I don't think she expected to be on there. Should I tell her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Text her. She's gonna flip. I'd do anything for David. Oh, does she love Kelly and Ryan? What? You react like that you react like that like she watches every show in the world. She does. She hey Lorraine. Yeah. I, wa I wanted to call you because Jason told me you'd be excited. But um, I just did Kelly and Ryan, and uh, uh, the wedding was the, the, the talk of the entire thing, and they showed a picture of you. They showed a, <laughs> showed a picture of you in your wedding dress. She's covering her eyes and mouth. Now her head. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Now you look really good. Okay. Kelly it, said you're beautiful. It's at Labor Day, so. Kelly said you're beautiful. Kelly said you're very pretty. Oh, well, <laughs> Ryan also said that. Hey, look what I got for Jason. Look what I got for Jason. What? He's going to sneak so his feet don't stink anymore. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you didn't get that for Jason. You got that for all of us. What happened with the jackets, guys? It seems to be Natalie so and really Megan are funny. upset. You guys were really... I have PTSD right now from it. Oh, we weren't bringing it back up. They... I heard the vlog voice go on. <laughs> Sometimes even... Okay, guys, what's going on with the jackets? <laughs> Sometimes when I'm not even vlogging, I get the vlog voice. I'll okay. announce what we're doing. All right, we're in a cab going to New York, and the camera's not even on. They wanted me to wear this jacket for my interview. <laughs> yeah. And I look like an idiot in it. I look like... I look like one of those kids that is on Ellen for, like, having, like, a special talent. Like, I can say the alphabet backwards or something, or, or I, I can match celebrities with their shoes. <laughs> and like I'm seven years old, my mom just dressed me for the first time. That's a talent, the kids can match celebrities with the shoes? Yeah, there's some crazy kids out there. <laughs> At the hotel, I was just like, okay. So I just, I just put it on and we left in it. But I knew I was just gonna take it off the second. I, I lost Megan and Natalie, but then they followed me up onto, onto the stage, so it was a little bit tough, but I, I still pulled it off. I like that they're trying to upgrade you. Oh, it's both nice. of you guys picked this out together? Who's responsible for the jacket? <laughs> both of us. We'll both take the place. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Do you I mean, know how hard it is? Okay, I understand. It's very hard. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of moving parts. But this is a terrible jacket. <laughs> the color is terrible. This fabric looks like it's something an 80-year-old man would wear. Well, it was that or like a black suit jacket, which he definitely wasn't going to wear. So he tried to go for something a little more casual. I don't want to go down color. this road with you guys. No, I'm going to stay out of it. But my opinion on the jacket is a bad choice. Well, that's why I made you the executive decision. You should have seen the white decision. shirt that we got him, which was really nice. And yeah, they got me a and white shirt. I look like I just built an ark. <laughs> it looked like I was like... Like your name three three thousand years old, <laughs> like you just caught me like chopping wood. <laughs> you are a 
Disaster. He is now, a... To be fair, to be fair, what he's wearing right now is also terrible. <laughs> what he chose for himself is also really bad. He also wore really all bad. day yesterday. It's the same album he wears every single day. I wore day. this I yesterday. That. Yeah, I said it to him. I said, They were like, how bad does your, does your sweatshirt smell from yesterday? I'm like, uh, let's do it. This is the look. So a kid comes up for a picture and then... Which is great. I love it. I love when people ask for pictures. I love meeting people. But there's always the mom, and it's this look. No idea who we are, or who I am. She's like, and then they go, "I'm sorry, I don't know you." And you're like, "I know. It's, you don't need to know me. It's really, probably not your thing." We got problems here. David's on a different flight. We might, we're on our way to Chicago, but now Jeff and David think we should idea. drive to Chicago 13 hours and 45 minutes. Natalie is definitely not feeling that idea. All right, let's, let, let's do this, let's do this. Let's talk through what would happen if we just go like with everything that's planned. Okay, and then at 7.25. That means if everything goes great, no delays, the weather doesn't trap me here for another night. Which could happen. Jeff wants to see his family too, because he's a mama's boy. I know. I, I, I saw my family a bunch. Okay. I saw them for like 28 years. So I left. Natalie, did I say how nice you look today? <laughs> no, you got you got a tan in you. You look very nice. Well, this is this is what happens. We're all trying to get a vlog done. When you do vlogs, you gotta um, every minute is crucial. Every hour is crucial. So we're either stuck here for four hours or we drive 13 in Chicago. We could go to Staten Island. We could do. We could remake the scene from Blow, where the fugitive George comes home and then the cops are after him and they find him. The mom. The mom calls the cops. Yeah. But she was like, what did you expect me to do? Everyone knows you're a drug dealer. <laughs> we could do that and drink it for real. Jeff, I didn't know you got boss. I thought I was going to say the same about you. Or maybe that, that is like me. If you and I had a baby, it would be William Hemsworth. <laughs> and there's Todd. That's who? Todd. These are terrible lookalikes you're doing. That looks nothing like Todd and William Hemsworth. That's not yeah, funny. but he, he would be in a guess ahead. All right, let's go to duty free, get our cigarettes. Kids won't get that joke, but maybe your dad will. Why do you have to buy your cigarettes at duty free? That's what a lot of people do. They'll buy like, cartons. Really? And you get a good price, yeah. Because you don't have to be taxed. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I have like a friend, or like a friend, uh, somebody told me that they, they came to the airport. So I was like, why do they have designer stores at an airport? Right. I would never just go to the airport to buy designer stuff. <laughs> But someone was telling me that they bought like three bags or like ten grand and ended up saving like two grand. Yeah. All right, we're in the airport. David's gone. We are uh, just sitting here. Our flight's been delayed. Two, almost, two hours. Almost two hours. Jeff and I are excited to go to Chicago. We're going to bring you some great content from there. And now well, we're just sitting here. Jason, I know how to pass time. How's Let's that? Let's do some push-ups. Come on. So he'll be out of In here? Yeah, hey, what are you embarrassed? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the here. Where are you going? He's dead serious. Let's go over here. Jason Nash. <laughs> Jason Nash. Let's go over here. You don't get embarrassed, do you? <laughs> Worried about what people are going to think? You're going to make fun of you for being healthy? Oh my god. It's such cool. Your breath smells like nicorette. Gone. Ew. Ain't better than It's such good shape. It's really good. Come on, Jay. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're gonna sleep like a baby. She's still with us. Hi. Hi. Get it all. Tag me. Tag me. <laughs> Good job. That's all we got here for. Yay, Jay. Woo. The way the doctor said I need to lose You got a little round of applause there. John, edit in a little bit more applause. <laughs> it's, uh, That's good. The embarrassing tactic works. It gets you going. Whatever Jeff says, I gotta do it, man. Gotta stay alive. I never thought Natalie I was needs me. To get embarrassed. You never thought, yeah, I get embarrassed sometimes. 
chin strap. I'm gonna have the chin strap on, it's embarrassing. But Natalie needs me. She, she's gotta have me in a working situation. I'm the conduit to her and David, except when I'm not there, which is a lot of the time. Look, I'll keep pushing you. I just, I don't want you to crack and be mad at me. I ain't never gonna Sometimes crack. Sometimes I could be a little too pushy. I ain't never gonna crack. I just gotta stop with the Snickers at night. I dare you to do five pull-ups. Oh no. <laughs> Started doing pull-ups? Huh? Just a coincidence you started doing pull-ups? I can't hear you, sorry. What's that? It's just a coincidence you started doing pull-ups? Sorry, I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> back on. Uh, we are in Chicago. It was a long day. It was a five-hour delay. But we're here. Jeff and Nat. We'll see what kind of mood they're in. Let's talk of uh, some dinner. I mean, I'd like to go have a nice dinner. But uh, something tells me everybody is just worn out. So, we shall see. It's been a long trip. You know, New York and Chicago, really? Is that necessary? Should've just went to Chicago. But uh, look, man. Also, I think it's interesting that we still like travel like this, you know? I mean, it's just chaos here. Those people are trying to get on. They've been delayed all day in Chicago. And, um, you know, why can't we just bloop, you know? Just bloop, bloop. And by that I mean, why can't we just, like, bloop? You know, like, you go, to, you go to JFK in New York, and they're like, where would you like to bloop today? And you're like, bloop. And, you just, and then you're there. Portal system is what I'm talking about. It's surprising. You know, I think that will happen. And then this will all be, be like, oh my God, do you remember when there used to be delays and people would be stuck and you have to get your luggage. You could bloop your luggage. If your dad came home and you had a party and got caught, bloop, you could just bloop, bloop out of there. That'd be great. Bloop airways. And it's not actually... Bloop Airways, huh? Yeah. What's cool about it is it's not actually an airway. It's a portal system. Um, I'm definitely losing my mind. That's for sure. Oh, sorry, you went past me. Have you ever thought about a portal system? And to, you ever thought about a portal system instead of like flying? Like one day, we'll just be able. We we'll just be able to bloop out of here. Worried about you? I didn't. My phone was dead too. Like you could have lost me for good. You guys walked right by me. I was just I was vlogging up a storm. Oh, you were vlogging? Well, yeah, with some good stuff. I was talking about a portal system that I wanted to design called Bloop. Called what? Bloop. Bloop? Oh, yeah. that's a good name. So you go into JFK and you're like, oh, where'd you like to bloop today? And then, because all this is insane. I'd call it Bloop. Oh, you just start a competing portal system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. You could be like Tinder and Bumble. <laughs> what are you going to offer on Woosh that's so much better than Bloop? Um, I'm going to do everything Bloop does, but just uh, <laughs> a little bit better. Like, <laughs> Actually, just a little but I'm going to give it away for free for the first year. Oh. And then I'm going to randomly hit people's credit cards <laughs> next year. After, oh, okay. And hopefully they don't notice. Ready? Jeff's starting a competing portal system with me. I, I came up with the idea to have a portal system called Bloop, where you would just, instead of waiting for all this, you would just be like, boop, and you'd be in Chicago. Oh. And Jeff's starting whoosh. And I have more uh, money and lower overhead because I don't have kids. You, th so you think whoosh is a better name than Bloop? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Whoosh? I just thought of it right now. It sounds like a boogie board company. It sounds like you had an accident. No. no. Whoosh, it's like, whoosh. No, no, Bloop is like friendly, like Silicon Valley name, like tech friendly, like you're safe on there. Woosh is like, hey, some guy just started this crazy airline and he's going to, who knows where he's going to take us. Okay, if you want to choose a portal, you choose Bloop. I'm I'll get you there it, safely. I'm not even calling it Woosh anymore. I'm just going to call it. It's not even going to have a spelling. It's just going to be a sound effect. When you, when you see it, you're going to have to click it like the voice note in the last thing. Question. Thank you for flying. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I don't yeah. have a new name. Okay. Warm. Wait, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Warm. Warm. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call it Woom. You're getting too out there. The thing about bloop is like it's used as a verb. Where do you want to bloop today? I'd Where like to go to. Today? Huh? Where do you want to whoosh today? Yeah, see? It's already sticking with the kids. Wow. Here's the place where David can hang out. Kids joint. Hey, they took out the. All the stuff. Now boarding. <laughs> okay. We tried to rent a car here for the last hour. It's just been one of these days. Jeff's about to snap. He's hungry, but you know, he's got no weight. He's got, that's what happens when you're skinny. He goes, he goes, how are you being so calm right now? I told him, I said, this is what comes with age. You know, I used to be punchy when I was 30. Not anymore. Thing is, is like, also I have a lot more fat on my body. So I think that keeps me in a good mood. One advantage of being overweight, my camera is fogging up. It's so hot out here. I'm gonna snap, man. Me, 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 I'm gonna me, me. lose my mind. Woosh Airlines. Where would you like to whoosh today? You know, that was so long ago. <laughs> I don't even care. You could have the company. <laughs> well, today was horrible. We had bad luck. In any luck situation, like the flight getting delayed four times, so us finally getting on the flight. Then we sit on the runway park for two hours. Yeah. I'm sitting on the plane, right? Yeah. I finally doze off. Yeah. And my foot's poked out a little bit in the in the aisle. Oh no. And this guy comes by, steps on my foot while I finally doze off. Yeah. And I wake up to a painful <laughs> stomp on my foot. The guy just takes up the name and says, sorry. <laughs> I was going to get up and go talk to him. And say, hey, buddy, what you did back there was very inconsiderate. I'm glad, you know. I'm glad you didn't because, you know, when you're in the air, people are nervous already. Yeah, and then when I went to the bathroom, I did it to somebody else. I'm like, holy <laughs> that's how easy accidents happen. Now I feel dumb. And Natalie told me I need to talk to a therapist. <laughs> Guys, this is my room, and he comes with the room because he didn't want to walk up. There's some. This is a really nice room. Is yours like this? No, my room sucks. Oh, really? Let's see. I'm gonna show you the bathroom. <sighs> Probably should have shown you this first, but oh well. I mean, I like it a lot. This is great. Shower is really nice. David and I were in there yesterday. 